right, well, we're uh, getting some stuff wrapped up at the club here before we hunt this afternoon. And I want to show you our latest addition. It's very important, I think, on any property you have to be able to shoot a little bit. Uh, we have an area to shoot rifles. We'll show you that in a second. But I did a little extra work here to set up a 3D range. And I uh, got my family here to demonstrate for you. So starting with my bride. She is shooting down in the woods there. That's a Bass Pro Shops Blackout 3D target. Perfect. You can do better than that. <laughs> now let me show you what I did. There's two lanes for that target. So you can shoot it from this angle. I put little hooks up. All right, now we're gonna move to my son. Now I've got a Glendale set up here. That's for long range. And I've got a McKinsey Hog set up for long range. A lot of fun. Now my buddy, Tommy Gun. What do we got down there? We got a raccoon and a woodchuck or yep, or something. Yep, a woodchuck and a raccoon. That is the uh, the critter combo from Big Shot Targets. Which one are you going to shoot? Uh, raccoon. All right, go ahead. Good shooting. All right. And we've got my Little Miss America Archer over here, Taylor. And this is the Big Shot Backyard Buck from r and Show me how it's done. Good, shooting Taylor, give me five. All right, so that's the deal. Now, she's standing real close but you can back up, you see that lane? You can shoot 50 yards at this target. So just a little diversity. Anyways, I would recommend getting this critter combo from Big Shot Targets. All right, so let's go down here and look at this set. This is a critter combo. Those guys are $129 for the pair. That's a great deal. Arrows come out real easy and uh, they add a little bit of fun for your family, for your hunting club. But that's a good example right there of something you can add to your hunting club that makes it more applicable to family, young and budding archers, and your membership. So I would suggest, if nothing else, setting up one, maybe two targets where you can uh, fire a couple arrows at your bow before you go hunting you're going to be better off. And it's a lot of fun. Got him in the hoof, Taylor. Oh, Taylor. <laughs> oh that's one, man. <laughs> All right, we've also got availability to shoot our rifles at the club here. And uh, based on where we're at, we can shoot 120 yards down to the curve of the road. And uh, we've actually got a small barricade up that's holding the target. So it's obvious if somebody were to come from that direction, but nobody's that way, so I'm not worried about it. But it's nice to have a place to sight in your rifles as well. So like a lot of folks who hunt, you live in the city, getting to a range might cost money, it might be tough. You may not even know where one is, but if you got a piece of property like this, it's nice to have access to a place where you can shoot your rifle. And in this case, we're at the main camp. We're not close to any food plots. She wasn't too excited about me showing her shooting. So we're just gonna show you how my little princess here is gonna be shooting downrange and uh, we'll get to practicing. So here's how it looks. If you have a hunting club or hunting property, it is a great idea, especially in a club scenario, to set up some targets, some 3D targets for the archers in your club and to make sure you locate an easily accessible mid-range rifle range. Now here we've got 120 yards we can shoot, all based out of the main camp here. Down there's a target, right over here's another 3D target. A couple more 3D targets right here. And of course, we got our critters down in the woods. So that is just a fine example of something that you can do to make your club a little more enjoyable a little more applicable and it's just a lot of fun. <laughs>